Hey guys, we come to the Chinese countryside finally and I have a big big hopes about this visit today because if there's anything interesting in China then it has to be a countryside. It's not easy to get here as far as it's easy to come to the big city and to travel between big cities it's much much harder to get to the suburbs and the countryside. Anyway, in China there's a really kind of annoying thing with traveling and visiting places. The typical tourist attractions, they are fake and overcrowded. You have to pay a lot of money to enter and there's really not, not really much to see. But the city is alright, let's go left. But the countryside, countryside is the place where the real life is happening. So take a look, take a good look guys. So what percentage of Chinese population still lives in the countryside? 70? 70%? No. How many? No, I think it will be closer to the half, but it's still a lot. Close to what? You said 70%? Oh. No, I think more like 50%. Let's go. But still a lot, a lot of people. Obviously, not there, not there. Obviously, the younger people travel to the big cities to find a better work and try to live there. So, who is left in the countryside are mostly older people, often children. So, the older generation takes care about the children of the middle generation. And uh, people who don't have too many skills, don't have too much perspective to find a good job in the city. Do you know anyone from a typical countryside? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, like, like who is it? You, you met people in, in the studies or you have family or friends? Both. Okay. I have family who live in countryside. Also have classmates from countryside. Can you say that there's a significant difference when it comes to the habits and behavior of the people who are from countryside and people who are from the cities? In general, people from countryside are not very well educated there and their behaviors are a little bit low level like they don't care about hygiene problem and sometimes they, when they do things they don't care too, too much about the environment and other people mm. Mm. and the fastest way to recognize who come from countryside that he stinks <laughs> doesn't smell nice you want to say yes. <laughs> yeah okay we have a nice dog here I do have to say, the one thing which kind of surprises me in China in 2024 is the amount of the pets running around, dogs and cats on the streets. Not only people have a pets, keep them in houses, in apartments and go for a walk with them in the city, but we, we, we see the dogs just running around. I don't know if they are stray dogs or they belong to somebody but they just run wherever they want. <laughs> That's unexpected in China. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a compliment. It means that it's getting better. Here is a big farm. Uh, yeah, gee, it would be so good. We will have to pay. Wow, how much yeah, to visit? Watermelon. Watermelon, but what are these plants? This is this dragon fruit. This is dragon fruit plants? Mm. Oh, I would like to go through there. Then ask. It looks like a cactus. What is written here? It's written dragon fruit. <laughs> Makes sense. Just interested a little bit, see if there's anybody here. Say hello. Hello, Nihao. Oh, there's somebody. Okay guys, here is a big advantage of coming to the countryside because you can see a true farm, not just a small garden with a few plants, but this is the farm, Chinese farm. Take a look how huge it is. 
the greenhouses and rows and rows of the vegetation. And, and guess what they are? What are these plants? You know what, this is also the first time that I know how these plants grow. They make a fruit which is called dragon fruit. Yes, so this, this is a red one, you know, inside there are... Go. Cool. So this plant is a plant, dragon fruit plant. The dragon fruits grow on this cactus thing. It literally is a cactus actually. It has a spikes. Dragon fruit is a very popular fruit in, in China and in Asia. Not so much in the in Europe, I think. And I, I couldn't imagine how the plant looks like. Amazing. Wow. Oh, so this will be a dragon fruit in the future, yes? Maybe. It has to be. This is the first one to start to grow. Wow. You have to ask the lady when is the time to for the dragon fruits to harvest. Do you know when there's a season? In spring already have a lot of dragon fruit. Okay, let's go. But if they have a greenhouse, they have it all the year. So she said the flower will be middle of June, July, and the, the flower Blossom only during the night, you come in the morning and the flower will be gone. Ah. Yeah, and she took a photo. Uh. On the left, we have a greenhouse, some farm. I I think it's for strawberries. Now the interesting part is on the right side. We have a countryside public toilet, guys. We have to investigate. Are you excited or are you scared? Gee, it's actually much cleaner than anyone could expect. Yep, this is what awaits in China. It's nice and clean, doesn't stink. Surprisingly clean inside here. Yeah, you yes. a normal toilet? No. <laughs> Let's go. Com compared to my hometown Yunnan, the village in Jiangsu province, our region, is really richer than the village in Yunnan. You see the street even quite clean. <laughs> oh my god. And the toilet has very good condition. You claim it's clean, right? Mm. Okay, let's continue. Let's find some dirt. Have a duck. Oh, this is eggplant plant. Here we have a small eggplant. It's not usable yet. Paprika looks very, very nice. And on the other side, we have a beans. Very nice and healthy. Wow, the cucumber. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, Chinese people like cucumbers. Let's go. So this is just a home garden. It's not a farm. But I, I have to say it's very, very nice to see that people arrange the space quite neatly, quite nicely here. Yes, I'm even shocked. Shocked? You know, because um, we people come from city, we can hardly imagine that people's life in city, uh, in village. And when we come here as a tourist, <laughs> <laughs> we only see what is in the street, and and so it's hard for me to imagine the situation that in China there are like uh, 
a lot of people whose whose annual income is only one thousand Chinese yuan. Oh, come on, not one thousand annual. Yes, many people live in countryside. Annual income only one thousand Chinese yuan. So that's what that. You mean ten thousand? No, one thousand. Come on. Even you cannot imagine, right? It is a statement from our previous prime min prime minister. Li Keqiang? Yes. Okay. He got fired for telling the truth. He died of heart attack. Ah, yeah. He died died of heart attack for, for telling the truth. Death. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Core values of socialistic society. Very well. Let's go. I'll see you best someday. Yeah, they do have a gym, outdoor gym. Yeah, so it has to be the communist party organized this whole village very well. You see the culture and uh, the atmosphere make this place quite pleasant. There's a path there. There is to the right, to the left, I suppose. What is here? Um, they encourage people to take part in the insurance, health insurance oh. and the social insurance because um, people don't want to buy insurance, national insurance. Of course. Mm. Whoa. They do dry a grain. Yeah. And how do you know it even? Are you a countryside woman? I only heard of it. <laughs> so for a Chinese people, is a countryside already existing tourist destination? Do do people from a city travel to countryside as a Yes, yeah, since years, people are bored with city life and we look for other attractions like go to the village. We have the project like a village entertainment. So we find a village like a restaurant and we can have a picnic, uh, play cards and do uh, entertain in the garden and later have a dinner in the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> So where is the part where people see how the true life looks like? Yeah, yeah, we don't really like. go into a real family of uh, village people. Maybe let's go to the left, this street. For the people who want to experience the real countryside life, then we just go to your relatives <laughs> who live in countryside. Every person in the city has some relatives from the countryside? No. We have a saying, even the emperor has some cool countryside relatives. <laughs> <laughs> what about the village of Xi? This is, it, this is a popular destination for tourists, isn't it? Oh, 
and creme and mouth too. <laughs> sure. All the, we oh. have nectar in here. Like a peach. And shit, let's go. Where, where should we go? Is it a path there? There is. No, it's a. It was house. Okay, let's go out. Can we go there? Yeah. Ask if we can pass there. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe they don't speak one. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Where is this big house here? Check out this bus stop with all the comfortable seats. There is a fire in the village. Somebody is burning some rubbish apparently. <laughs> Interesting. Yoki dog. What a doggy. It's a young one. We take it. Okay, now we have a dog. Yeah. Call him. Are you Chinese? There was some factory here, I think. If the front door open so everybody passed by can see them. Cool. And I think it's very nice if I want to have a nap nap, I also want to keep my door open. <laughs> cool. be nice. I can observe people and then it's cool in this case. Okay, this will be end of our 
walk in the village today. It's terribly hot, unbearably hot almost. We should come in the very late afternoon, almost early evening here. Maybe next time we go to other village in the late afternoon. Look, dogs are sleeping. So what do you think about the village in China? Well, very nice actually. Well, I cannot imagine I would live here forever, like, a, you know, like live here. Mm. But the, the life in the countryside is very nice as a, as a, from the view of a tourist. Tourist? Yeah. Well, I can, only, well, I can say it definitely positively surprised me. I expect it would be much more deity. I expected that um, it will be much more stinky. <laughs> it doesn't stink much. There are no mass, like like village countryside smells, of course, and but it's actually cleaner than in the big cities, I would say. There's a general general countryside untidiness. People store many different things, which may be useful in the future one day. One day, that's quite normal. But I don't see too many rubbish lying around. And from this point of view, it's just much cleaner. <laughs> A lot of animals, and I mean dogs, which is quite nice to see that people keep their dogs. I hope they don't keep them for dinner. <laughs> well, I never imagined that I would live in countryside in China for long because when I'm in China, I work in the city and my life is in the city and uh, we make effort to get promotion, get a good fortune in the city so, so we never thought about living in the countryside Would you consider buying house in countryside right now after our walk today? Next time when we come to, to, to China we'll come to some countryside, some small tiny village we buy a house for $5,000 why not? Why not? Maybe I'm a Chinese. Maybe I have an old. Wait a minute. Thought for a long time. <laughs> Would you consider buying house in Poland in the countryside because in the what village? I want to say is a different thing, you no? Know? How it is different? I go to Poland and, and live in countryside, and it's just different from the countryside life in China. Is it? Wait, we film the tractor. When you plan to buy a house in the, in when? the village? I don't plan. You wouldn't want to buy? I wouldn't think about it. But why not? The life in the countryside seems okay. If I don't have to be a farmer, I don't have to work. And when I live here, nobody will bother me. You know, I don't have to socialize, interact mm -hmm. with the people around, the neighbors. And I have my own garden and yeah, exactly. live my life. That's and what I'm thinking. Nice, yeah. You would make so many gardening videos for YouTube. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah, for this, yeah, I would like to live in countryside. I'm really curious, well, if anything will watch this video, whether okay. people, whether will people like the Chinese countryside. If our viewers, if you like it, let us know whether whether we should investigate more. I tell you what, as a Chinese people, if you ask me to have a tour in the countryside, I will think what to see in the countryside. There's nothing to see. What we are going to do there, nothing. So, I mean, this may be the, the first time that I really pay attention to take a look around here and, uh, you know, observe more things here. And, uh, yeah, it's attractive. What really. do you think about people? We didn't talk, of course, too much, but we asked two or three persons for this or that little bit, like two, three sentences. They seemed to be friendly. 
Yeah, actually, I'm never talking to a stranger in the village before. How to say, you know, when you start to talk with them, they are nice. But if you don't talk with them and they look at you and I feel uh, intimidated. <laughs> and intimidated. Yeah, I'm afraid that we may trespass their private, private land or anything. Well, it partially, it is like this. Every outsider in the village is a trans trespasser actually yeah. <laughs> until and, un until and they start they know to talk everybody in so, the neighborhood if anything strange but i think around know. i think around the world it's like this as soon as you just say hello you ask for something you you just show that you 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 notice a local people and you want to you know um, communicate with them they become quite friendly yeah that's nice mm. <laughs> it looks like thanks to me you discover a lot of things in china that's true. You know, <laughs> I live in China for so many years and I omitted so many interesting things. Luckily, you are here this time with me. <laughs> we were <laughs> going to we are going to explore more new mm. things. <laughs> okay, let's go home. Okay, bye bye. Please subscribe and like and leave your comment. Bye bye.